lids so what I'm going to be doing is applying a concealer all over my eyelid and I'm just using a concealer brush to apply that onto my eyelid area then I'm just going in with a concealer blending brush and I'm blending that concealer onto the entire eyelid covering every part of my lid so that no skin is showing then I'm just taking a translucent powder that's my complexion and I am blending that into the crease area now that just allows for easy blending of any other color that I'm going to put on top of that and here I'm just applying with another blending brush Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep just to create a really nice crease so I'm just using that color to create some definition now I'm just going in with another brush and it's a bit smaller this is called a smudging brush with Max Paint Pot in black ground you can also use an eye cool for this just make sure that it's very soft so that it's easy to blend and I'm creating a base for any other of the any other dark eyeshadow that I'm gonna put on top of it and I'm just making sure to blend out the edges very seamlessly Okay, I'm taking the clean brush that I wiped on top of a napkin and I'm blending out my edges. And right now I am applying a black eyeshadow to set that base. Now you always want to set any type of a cream base with a powder base just so that you prevent any type of creasing to occur. So I'm just applying the black eyeshadow and I'm blending out the color so that it looks very well blended onto the eyelids. Now I'm using a clean brush and I'm just blending out the edges. So here is the highlight of the show and this is a green pigment by MAC. I forgot the name of it but I will try to find that out and leave it in the description box below but it's just a, a green blackened pigment and I applied that on the lid and now I'm just applying a, an eyelash adhesive in the duo eyelash glue and now I'm applying my glitter and I'm using a q-tip here just to prevent any of my brushes from getting damaged the q-tip also helps it to apply very nice and glittery onto the lid and had to jump straight to foundation guys because my camera stopped working so here I'm just applying a stick foundation in a shade that's a bit darker than me and a shade lighter than me in my studio sculpt foundation and I'm just applying that and blending it together to create my base if you hear like a bird in the background I'm really sorry that is my neighbor's parrot and there is no way that I can get silence to record this. Here she goes again. So here I am just blending everything out very nicely and smoothly. I'm using circular motions and also just stippling it on as well as I go along. Making sure to blend everything out into the hairline. And now I'm applying my concealer using like a smaller brush so that you can get right in there and you don't mess up any of the work that you've already done I had to go ahead and apply my bottom lash line um, eyeshadow off camera because my camera you know stopped working and I also applied my lashes as well So here I'm just using a highlighter just to highlight the high points of my face where light is going to hit. And I'm using Max highlighter pen as well as this black opal stick in a darker shade. Just to create some definition to my cheeks and my forehead. And just blend
جايب My face wasn't dark enough guys so I just went ahead and applied another shade of black with stick just to get that contour a little bit more on the bronzy side. And now I'm just applying my under eye powder to set my concealer. I'm using Max Mineralize Skin Finish Loose Powder because it's a little bit more hydrating than the regular powders. And for lips, I am applying a lip liner that's in a nude shade. The shade is very similar to what my, the pink part of my lip looks like because my lips are very, very pigmented. And I'm just putting that lip liner all over my lips. I had put some of my foundation on my lips first. And now I'm just applying a lip gloss. And voila!